Yo, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I know nothing about this fucking beef. I don't know where this disc came from. I don't know the tensions in their relationship. I don't be following Quavo. I really don't even be listening to Migos that often at all. And Chris Brown, I could tell you, I absolutely have not listened to. Chris Brown, I've said it multiple times. <laughs> I might offend people right out the gate. Chris Brown makes music for single baby mothers who have toxic baby daddies. I feel like that's a fair assessment. He also puts out like 97 songs every album. What the fuck? I don't want to listen to that much Drake, much less that much fucking Chris Brown. I think the last Chris Brown song I downloaded was Fine China, because that shit is gas. It's still gas to this day. Uh, but follow us on Twitch, ladies and gentlemen. That's where we're doing this live right here. Follow us on YouTube, obviously. But if you want to see these things uncut, you want to see them first, uh, then join us over on Patreon. That's where all of this information, all these videos is stored first. But other than that, weakest link. Now we can settle this like you got some class, so we can get into some gangster shit. Hey, Chris. This ain't what you want. want. This ain't want what you want. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to do nothing, bro. Like, please, like, please, bro. Who wants smoke with me? Who wants smoke with me? Who wants smoke with me? Who wants smoke with C? Who wants Who want smoke with me? Who wants Okay, let's get down to the facts, pussy, I'm dripping red Don't let this r &B shit fool you, niggas get ripped to shreds <gasps> Quavo talking like he a thug, nigga, you a bitch with dread. Can't wait to see the day that you back up all of that shit you said What's all this ball shit you talking, you ain't no huncho, nigga hey. We just link out of your click, let's keep it a hundo, nigga You fuck my ex ho Yeah, not you the way Oh, you fuck my ex ho Oh, shit, okay By the way, it's not that I don't like Chris Brown it's just that I'm not particularly fond of his music. I respect his talent, but I will say that out of all the R&B motherfuckers, Chris Brown is probably the best rapper of them all. Like, undoubtedly, in my opinion. All right, here we go. Here we go. Quavo is dating Chris Brown's ex-girl that he's super sensitive about, but Chris Brown basically said he had sex with Sweetie while they were dating and some dirt on him. <laughs> See what I mean? Oh, my God. Chicks that like... Chris Brown have notifications alerts on for the shade room on Instagram. Oh, huncho, nigga. You the weakest link out of your click. Let's keep it a hundo, nigga. You fuck my ex ho, that's cool. I don't give no fuck, little nigga. Cause I fucked your ex when you were still with a bitch. I'm up, little nigga. Hey. They say revenge is sweet. Now think about that shit. Don't let that line go over your head. I might just sing about that shit. I had a feeling about that dick. There's something sweet about that shit. I got some tea about that bitch, but I ain't gonna speak about that shit. I got some tea up out that bitch, but I'm not gonna speak about that shit. Women always be pillow talking, bro. I'm just pillow talking with a bitch. Hey. This bitch don't know about Pangea. Playing chess with a checker player. I'm a ticking bomb on a detonator. I shit on niggas. I'm a defecator. I put a Miko on a ventilator. Stop talking about beating girls. You was beating bitches on the elevator. We seen the taste. That's devastating. You really was bad. You a bitch in your music trash. Fashion week, they set me next to your lame ass. I was truly mad. All I kept thinking about was. Hey yo, I do remember seeing that. I remember seeing them on the runway, and they were not. They were. They were not about it. In your music trash. Fashion week, they set me next to your lame ass. I was truly mad. All I kept thinking about was breaking your face, but I gave you a pass. You lucky I ain't wanna fuck the money. Up, boy, I would have broke you in half. Quit trying to be tough, you ain't like that. Why you keep showing up? Quit talk about drugs, you the only pack that I've been smoking on. Ooh. I just hit my plug, told him come back, I'ma need more than one. Your last album was a weed trade, just some bullshit that we roll up on. You know what's on, put you to bed. Night, night. Your last album was a weed trade that we, bro, is that a fucking diss in 2024? You bought that, you, you bought the physical album? Who the fuck buys CDs? Yeah, yeah, he buys that shit for that reason, but that's like me buying a jersey just to light it on fire. I already bought the jersey. The money's already there. Light it on fire then, bitch. I don't care. Oh, shit. Roll up your weed on my on my album. You bought it anyway. Shoot the bed. Night, night. That's suit the fed. Show me that I'm tender, bitch. Time to prove what you just said. R.I.P. Take off. He the only real one that got true respect. Crazy how when he died, everybody really wished it was you instead. Oh! You tripping, Chris. Don't say that. <laughs> Bro. Everybody wished that it was you instead is so fucking... That's crazy to say that. Holy shit, that's crazy bar. How do you bring up somebody's dead relative in a song? R.I.P. Take off, he the only real one that got true respect. Crazy how when he died, everybody really wished it was you instead. Oh shit!
Yeah. You trippy, Chris, don't say that, don't lose your head. Yeah. You done turned a big bad wolf on these fuck niggas, never knew revenge. This what happens when a fuck nigga push a real nigga out to the edge. This what happens when a dumb nigga get fame and it get to his head. You gon' kiss this ring, nigga. Big fuck you from my middle finger, I tattoo my trigger finger. Bring real beat to your dinner table, my mental state ain't never stable. I know this shit gon' sting, nigga. I That's bring for your sure. ass through the ringer, nigga. You just got body by a singer, nigga. Bitch. Who wanna smoke with me? That's an ironic Drake bar, considering they got beef. You just got bodied by a singing brother. <laughs> brother when fucking, uh, when, uh, what's his name says it all the time? Theo Vaughn? Yeah, you really don't see too many snaked out brothers. What's a pet you don't see a lot in the black neighborhood? A lizard? Uh, uh that and the snake, brother. Yeah, you don't see a lot of snaked out brothers, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Bro, that's what y'all need, bro. What? Could have been need a brother who got a little bit of lizard on him, got a little got a little dragon. Dude, on we him. just had a guy come in here and drop the N word, man. We cannot be laughing about this shit right now. Oh, I don't think that shit's funny at all. What I do is if I really need to get it out, I write it down. What the fuck? You know. I uh, okay, so that's the that's the fucking diss. There's really only two bars that even fucking mattered in there. Uh, the sweetie bar, fucking fucking on your bitch. Uh, she had thought that obviously the dead the dead homies bar. <laughs> I can't believe you said that, but that was crazy. Chris Brown though, he's a good rapper, right? But let me tell you this, and you're not gonna be able to unhear it after I say it. He sounds just like Joyner Lucas. That that sounds like Joyner Lucas's flow, his pen, the beat selection that he would pick. I mean, it's a good. See, this is the thing. Is it a good diss like that? Like, is it a good diss through and through where we got so many bars the entire time? Or is it just like, oh, the beat went hard. Chris Brown went hard on it. We're surprised since he doesn't rap. And then he said two hard things in there. Like, is the entire diss hard? Or is it just the surprise of Chris Brown rapping and putting out a diss? And then he had two different, two solid lines in there. This diss could lead to actual beef, not words. That's true. We'll see. Chris is the only one I believe would swing on somebody in real life. I 100% believe that. He needs fucking... He needs Kanye's meds, to be honest, if we're being honest with each other. Yeah, the diss is much more personal. I feel like he came out swinging. I feel like he, there was no warning shot. He said, I fucked your baby, I fucked your chick while, she, while you were with her still, and fuck your dead homie. Or not fuck your dead homie, but fuck you, we wish you were dead instead. I don't even know which one's worse. I mean, I, I'm excited to hear what Quavo says. What a time to be alive in rap music, ladies and gentlemen. We got fucking, we got disses happening left and right. What a time to be alive.